well and thank you for the one um john hello 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 <laughs> The hydrate, thank you for the hydrate. I will do that here in a little bit. So, welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to do more review rankings of the League of Legends champions. So, here is our list as of right now. I did make a few changes, so I will explain those in a little bit. As of right now, I will go take a drink. <laughs> I'll be right back. Here, I'll, I'll take a hydrate. It's not water, it's actual milk, but okay. all right. So, here is my list. I did make a few changes. So, first off, I kind of put in parentheses of my, of my list based on their war. And kind of like your appearance or skills. So I did move Taisha a little more up, and then I moved Asriel up one rank because I kind of did realize like maybe 
maybe he is more so of my main, I guess, I don't know. So last time we stopped at Leona. So now, we are heading to Lilia. Uh, oh, what are they called? What are the... Um, I know centaurs are horse. And it's not a... Uh, well, it's a face here, which is... They only got like the two-legged. Half-human. Half... Or no, it was a goat. Human, half deer. What are they called? A deer centaur? Centaur? It's not the deer man, okay. It's not the deer man. There's many, like, images, but I guess we don't really have, like, a certain name. Which is what I thought. Okay. Anyways, she looks really cute. Let's see. GTA camera? <laughs> okay. I think you guys can see that. Intensely shy, this fey fawn, Lilia, skittishly wanders Iona's forces. Okay. Um. Lilia hopes to discover why their dreams are no longer reaching the a ancient dreaming tree. Why does her lore sound like my lore a little bit? <laughs> she now travels Iona with a magical branch in her hand in an effort to find people's unrealized dreams. Only then can Lilia herself bloom and help others untangle their fears and spark within. <laughs> So she's like a like a dreamy spirit in a way. Okay, okay. Spirit blossom. Very nice. Ooh, it's a night bringer. Very evil. Very evil. Like. And then we got the Shanghai. Oh, she's like a Kind of like um, the mythical Chinese um, unicorn dress, uh, deers. Oh, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called, but like, is it kind of like Quillen? 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 I don't know. Anyways, I do really like her style and her lore. Yeah, I'm gonna put her in S. 
she seems like the type of cat I would play at for sure. She's all purpley and blue and nature-like and dream colors. <laughs> Alright, next is Miss Sandra, the Ice Witch. might do audios another time, it's just that there is way too many that I decided to cut that out. <laughs> Alright. As a repulsive leader of the Forest Guard, many believe was sought with Sandra, disobedient saint, who those followers, followers bring healing and wisdom to the tribe of Red Joy. Reldor. Reldor? The truth is perhaps more sinister as she uses her ma- elemental magic to twist the power of true ice into something dark and terrible. Oh. Oh wow, so people think she's kind and whatever, but she's actually evil. So there's a twist. Alrighty. This is the Bloodstone. Blade Queen. Mm. A program. That seems a little interesting, but. Dark Cosmic. The porcelain. I like that how that snake is. <laughs> and Space Groove. Okay. Um, to be honest, probably no. She's going to see probably a nun. I don't know. Like, some of her skins do look pretty good, but it's more so the background than on her, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, next up we got Lucian. Okay. That's a pretty tanky kind of look. Not too much tank. Oh, he's not a tank. Okay. I don't know, like the whole sword blade kind of thing. Let's see what's he's got. Lucy and a sentinel, a sentinel of light, is a grim hunter of the undying spirits, pursuing him to relent me and analyze. And Annihilating, annihilating them with his twin relic pistol. 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 Okay. Okay, so he's more of a gunfighter. Okay. Okay. After the wrath. After the wrath. Wrath? No. Right? Right? Hold on. Am I. Yeah, it's pronounced wrath, right? Wreath. Oops. After the wreath, fresh, slew his wife, Lucian embarked in the path of vengeance. But even from her return to life, his rage is undiminished. He will stop at nothing to protect living in the long dead in the horrors of the blackness. Okay. So he's again kind of like a grim reaper for the evil souls if I'm getting that right. Right. Good. 
good choice. Really no. Oh, uh, for Lissandra? I don't know. Look, I haven't played the game, okay? I'm just going on based on lore and looks. But, I'll take a look again. I'll take a look at her outfit more. Hired gun. Project? Ooh. Ooh, that looks like something from Cyberpunk, alright. High noon? Oh, look at all that smoke coming out. And I, I love these cards. I think this is like, uh, like for League of Legends and their promotional of skins and whatever. The art is fantastic. It's phenomenal. The Misha Bison Pulse Fire. Okay. Arcania. Oh, there's one more. Strike Paladin. And then Winter Blessed. Ooh, I do like that one. That would have to be my best. Um, maybe one. Just one track. Fine, I'll look back on Lissandra and look more so at her outfit than anything else. see some fetish here in, in, in here yet. I don't know, I think it's the mouth and the nose that are getting me. You know, like, I don't think I would like her. Like, with some of these, like, just teeth. I mean, if her mouth is closed, that's fine, but I mean, I don't know about those teeth, though. Let's just say that. Oh, I didn't see this one. Or did I? Um, that looks epic. Okay. Okay. Okay, you got me there. You got me there. Okay, Lissandra. We'll do her one. We'll do her at the Only try her out. Alright. Okay, you got me there. <laughs> Alright, next. Lulu the Sorceress? Is it? Or whatever she's called. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. Why is she so tiny? The real one. Okay. Oh, because she's a normal. Which are very tiny. Tiny like young Okay. The Yordle Mage Lulu is known for conjuring dreamlike illusions in fanciful creatures as she roams Imperia with her fairy companion Pixie. Okay. Um, she shapes reality on a whim, warping the fabric of the world, and she views have the constraint constraints of this mundane mythical realm. Her magic is best unnatural unnatural and it is worse worse dangerous at worst dangerous she believes everyone could use a touch of enchantment okay um maybe it's just the roads or not or you're not gonna load
Lulu is a god? Oh, oh my, okay. If only... This is her original. Very purple. Very purple. So that will give me like a good hit, like a good chance of not being put in B. <laughs> um, got the green eyes too. Interesting. This is wicked. Okay. These cats. Is that her making the cats, or are those like, I don't know, she casts a spell and the cats are flying away? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Dragon Pain Trainer? Dragon Trainer. Okay. I love how this one is just running away and screaming for life, and she's like, not in my watch. <laughs> not in my watch. Ooh, the pool party. I want to know what the heck this guy is. <laughs> this is made out of water. I want to know who that guy is. Maybe we'll find him. Star Guardian. Very interesting. Very anime in the eyes. Very anime. And then the cosmic enchant. Okay. Pajama party! Yo! Very cute. I love how she's like, it's sort of flying in the air. Hell of light. Face groove. Okay. We got a couple. Monster Tamer. Cafe Kitty. Very nice. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, I was like, it's your four. Um. Maybe. Yeah. We'll put her at a maybe. For sure. Next, we got Lux, the Lady of Luminicity. Oh, her outfit here does not look nothing like this outfit. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Well, I don't know, it's just not... Enthusiastic, there we go. It's like how the others are. Because with this one, this looks amazing, you know? But I think it's like the hair or whatever. Uh oh. Alright, let's look in the lore and see what's going on. Laxana Crown Guard hails from the. from. Dem. Dempsia. Dempsia? In her stellar realm, where magical abilities are feared, revered, and revered and suspicious. Well, oh. able to bend light on her will, she grew up dreading discovery and exile, and was forced to keep her power secret in order to preserve her family's noble status. Oh, so she's one of those. She's like, I have a magic ability, but I'll keep it secret from everybody else because my family is very noble. Like, yeah. <laughs> the sorceress. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I say that, and then like the three D model will be just like. <laughs> Stealthy. Okay. Commando. 
honestly, this background looks like Vietnam. <laughs> like the Vietnam flashbacks. Okay, okay. Steel Legion. Star Guardian. Ooh, Elementalist. Oh, she's in the pajama party. Is she? I think this is her. If I'm not. She has looks like some other champions for the bag. I think I don't really know. Ooh, dark cosmic. Oh, she can she breaking those planets? Okay. And then the cosmic, where she like restores a planet. That's pretty awesome. Having a dark. Version and a and then like the version. Then the space groove. Porcelain. That's an interesting look for the thing. Soul Fighter. Okay. And then Amprian. Alright, I gotta look at the 3D stuff because I get it. Oh, that's Elementalist. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, what others am I like? It's just like, you know, I'll give them a couple more tries. This is like only try once or twice, and that's it. This is like, no, no way. No way I, I wanna try to maim them, whatever. Okay, Malahite. Ooh, very rocky. Very rocky. No. What are you saying no to? In the tree. Hold on. Just no. She may change my mind if I do play her, okay? But as of right now, I mean, based on that, 3D look I just looked at, I was like, what's with this hair? <laughs> Everything else looks fine, it's just, I don't know, the hair looks a little off, I guess. She is pretty, I do give you that, she is pretty. Alright, let's see what Mel height is. Am I, am I, <laughs> a massive creature in living stone, Malahite is born from the heart of the great is, Ictali, 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 I don't know, I'm trying my best, construct Mona, known as the monolith. Okay. Using his temper strength to maintain order in a physically chaotic world and crush the dark things that crawl beneath it. Now, roused, 
roast roast I can't read <laughs> all too often from his slumber now I under fluid temper temperament of mortals and proceeds upon the only cause worthy that is glass of his own kind Okay, so there he is. Very big. Crazy. Glacial. Okay. Mecca. Oh. Mecca looks something. The iron side. Okay. okay. Odyssey, stars, no dark stars, okay, very, there's like a black hole, that would make sense for him, old god skin, alright, and then the lunar guardian, okay, I'm not really feeling for him, honestly. So, I'm just gonna put him in there. Sorry. I haven't, I mean, he looks pretty cool and all. I just haven't got that connection with him, that's all. No connection. Alright, next. Mall. Mall. What does it call him, Mall? <laughs> yep, it's a C. Okay. For you, for you. For me, it's a little, maybe a little different. Ooh, he kind of looks like, um. I'm trying to think what they're called. Like the Arabian Night kind of look? Where he has like the sword and then the scarf and whatever. I'm just gonna call him Maul. <laughs> A zealous seer dedicated to the undification of all life. Maul truly believes that the newly emergent void will be the path to Runeteria salvation. Amidst the ruins of the land, he gazed into the dark part of the void itself and was gifted new power and purpose. Now he sees himself as a shepherd, empowered to the bringing others to the fold or to release the voidling creatures that dwell with him. Oh, so he's an evil guy. Got it. <laughs> evil guy. Got it. Very purple, bro. Very purple. Very, very, very purple. The Shadow Prince? Okay. This Jin. Okay, I can kind of see that, yeah. Overlord. Battle Boss. Ooh. Or something. World Breaker? <laughs> what is this? The bees. <laughs> Why are they all good with the bees? And then. Wait, no, that's not him. That's, that's the wrong photo. Get born air. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling him either. Sorry. <laughs> not feeling you, my guy. Not feeling. Oh, went too far back. Not feeling. Not feeling. I 
know someone wants me to see where I rank this fortune, but we're still going in alphabetical order. So we'll she will wait a little bit. So we got Maokai. Okay, like an er troll-ish, I see. Very nature. Maokai is a rageful towering dragon who fights the unnatural horrors in the Shadow Isle. He was twisted into the force of vengeance after the mystic, after a magical catalyst destroying his home, surviving undead only through the waters of life infused with his heartwood. No wonder he's like all in rage. Malachi is now furiously battles to banish the soldiers of life from the Shadow Isles and restores his home to the former, former beauty. Okay. Chargered. Ooh. Okay. Tormetic. Oh, this is kind of like, um, um, very, um, Southeastern Asia, kind of like mythical creatures and stuff. Meow Kai. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very cute. Okay. World Breaker. And then the astronaut. Oh, he's so happy. Why is he so happy? He's like, he has a smile face. Uh. Oh, well. I was just gonna put him night. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Master Yi. What are you about? With your... How many eyeballs? <laughs> Eyeball goggles or whatever. He has a tempered, has tempered his body and sharpened his mind so that the thought and action has become almost as one. So he's full of wisdom. Got it. Full of like the wisdom monk stuff. As one of the last living practitioners in the Iona's art of Wuju, he has devoted his life to continue the legacy of his people. Nice. Nice. I don't know how I feel about the weird, like, being styled like that. I don't know. Assassin. Okay. Chosen. Yeah, it's like a Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars, no way. Fiona. Samurai. Ooh, that looks pretty sick. With the little glare right there, that's pretty cool. Headhunter. Project Cosmic Blade Oh, this is kind of different. Eternal Sword. Finally get to see his face. 
fish. I guess, I don't know. Blood moon. Uh, okay, there's more. Psyops. Okay. Debonair. Debonair. I don't know how you say that. I'm just saying the hell it is. Ear blossom. Pretty cool. And the ink shadow. He has pretty cool character. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this is. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, I'll put a minute. Oh wait, I didn't. Oh, I chose one more. I'll put you in there. Yeah. Milo, the gentle farmer. Why does he look like an NPC from another video game? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Milo is a warm hearted boy from wherever that is. <laughs> Who has, despite his young age, mastered the fire. Axiom and discover something new soothing fire. Milo plans to help his family escape their exile by joining the young Tal, just like his grandmother once did. He now prepares to face the The Dalian, the Dalian, and joined the Yung Tao, unaware that the trials and danger that awaits him. Okay, more like a young boy hero discovers his power and joins a clan. Kind of a little cliche there, but alright. That's the fairy court. And that's it. Oh, okay. How, how old was his gameplay? Let's see. Twenty years. Oh, very recent. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. No thanks. All right. Oops. This is too long. The moment this person has been waiting for. Miss Fortune, the bounty hunter, aka the sexy pirate. <laughs> All right, Miss Fortune. The captain brain for her looks, but fear for her ruthlessness. Sarah Fortune. Oh, her name's Ivy. Paints her stark figure among the hardening criminals of the port city. As a child, she witnessed the Revere King gangplank murder her family. Oh, an act of brood. She brutally avenged her, avenge her year, years later. Blowing up her flagship while she, he was still on board. Badass. Those who under, under, underestimate her will face the beast building an unpredictable opponent. And likely a bullet or two in their guts. Damn. Wow. Such badass. Cowgirl, okay, the crime city, Captain Fortune, ooh, I do like that, I do like that one, and then this 
this pool party. <laughs> Yo, why is the robot in the water? He's like electrocuting people. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Star Guardian. Oh shit. Gun got it. Ooh. Okay. And then this is her and the pajama. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Oh! The root. Ruined? Oh, that's so sick. Battle Bunny. The Broken Covenant. Okay, what's this mean? So that's what she looks like her, her face, I think. Um, oh, our battle bunny's not too bad. Not too bad. Broken covenant. Okay. What is this? Gun goddess? Alright, alright. Fingers. Ruin? Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. That looks so epic. <laughs> Wait, is there more? There's more? There's more. Secret agent? Candy Kane Road Warrior The Bewitched Okay in different colors whatever okay What else what else Pristine Broken Covenant And then the Lunar Beast Well you, you know where this is going. You know where this is going. It's so going S. But if I put her all the way up here, <laughs> that same person who was waiting for me to rank her would also make probably a hefty bit. Being like, no, she's mine. <laughs> S plus? Okay. I was kind of waiting on her more so than anything else, but who else am I excited to learn? Um, Seraphine for sure. Maybe Set. Um, maybe Sonia? I don't know. Um, I think Neko up here because I I know someone who cosplayed as Neko and they won the cosplay award for a con dressing up as Neko, so which is pretty amazing to see. All right, <laughs> Lord Kaiser. I think that's it. Mordek Mordekaiser? Mordekaiser? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm, I'm not gonna even try. <laughs> oh, some of them are limited? And cancelled. Oh. Let's go. Let's go see what he's about. Twice slain and thrice born, Mordekaiser is a brutal warlord. Warlord from Forgotten Epoch who uses his necromancy, source necromantic sorcery, to bind souls into eternal 
of servitude. Damn, is it Satan or someone? What God? They fear the day that he may return to claim do- to claim dominion over both living and the dead. Oh my lord, okay. Infernal. Okay. Panel kill. Panel kill. Was Panel kill like a band for our League of Legends for one year? Kind of like how KDA and then what this year was like Heart Steel. Just asking how Lord. King of Clubs. Who the hell is this guy with his long ass nose? <laughs> the Dark Star <laughs> Project. And then the Lost Chapter. I knew. Hey, yeah, put the man down. What is that? Is... Oh, I don't know about the old, old gods, but I, I don't like those teams. They're very, I don't know. I don't like them. I don't like how they're looking at me like that. Uh. Sorry, my dude, but I never. No, no. All right, Morgana. Ooh, very interesting. Oh, last time I uh, did her sister, and now we're doing this. And now we're doing her. sister called a conflict between her celestial and mortal natures Morgana bound her wings to embrace humanity and imprint her pain and bitterness upon the distrust and corrupt and more than anything else Morgana truly believes that even the banished and the outcast may once Yeah, um, what was her name? Yeah, I think, yeah, this is where I put her. I put her her name, though. Anyways, moving on. Play Mistress. Blackthorn, Ghost Bride, Majestic Empress. Ooh, I do like that. Coven. Ooh, I do. Dawnbringer. Our nemesis. Okay, okay. The snow moon. And then that's it. Okay. Oh, wow. Only I knew what her sister was. What was her sister's name? I kind of lean more 
Morgana in a high C tier. We'll put her in high C tier. Because I'm going to say for my boss Morgana right here. She holds herself as champion. Oh, so she can heal herself. Okay. I don't think that counts as a healer, but it counts something. <laughs> Take their right to hunt in the sand ring. Okay, so basically, kind of like the desert box in a way, but they're very giant. And then the ones can fight. Okay. I think they're quite new, but then as a new, like, Is that? I guess that would be a little better. Then I realized how loud it was. Not me was the first of them. Marai tried to leave the waves and venture onto dry land when the, their agent, agent, when their agent, according to the Targonians was broken. Amidst from the chaos in this new age, Nami faced an uncertain future with grit, grit and determination, using her tide collar staff to summon the strength and the oceans themselves. Alright, let's see, let's see what she's all about. Poison. Okay. R River spirit. <laughs> what is this race? Your tie. Your tie nami. Your your nami What is this? <laughs> the deep sea coral ground splendid deep splendid 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 staff okay oh no cosmic destiny face groove Covenant. Oh, no, I guess that's it. I don't think there's like any more skins or one of those. Yeah. 
those are I think limited stuff so maybe maybe not yeah maybe once Narus Narus Nasas I don't know Naz Nazus Nazu Nazus I don't know Add a couple of this thing here. A jackal head extended being from the ancient Sumira. Su Sumira. Sumira. A heroic figure regard of a demigod by the people of the desert. Fiercely intelligent, he was a guardian of knowledge and peerless strategy, whose wisdom guided the ancient empire of Shunima to greatness for many centuries. After the fall of the empire, he was into self-imposed exile, becoming little more than a legend. Now that the city of Shurima has risen once more, he has returned, determined to ensure it will never fall again. Alright, okay, I see. Galactic. <laughs> Okay, my reason of like a pharaoh with <laughs> dread skin, dread, no, dread knight, dread knight, dread knight skin, okay. infernal, the archduke, oh, <laughs> <coughs> World Breaker Battle Cap <laughs> oh, He's like a puppy in that one Armored Titan And the Night Breaker Not too bad. Um, we'll have to see the later. How much later we're gonna go. I think I might stop at P for Papillon. We'll see. Alright, who are you? You are not Nautila? Nautila? I don't know, you look very small in Gremlins. <laughs> okay. A lonely legend have old as the first peers 
were sunken in bilge water. The armored Gothwing, known as Nautilus, 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 I guess, runs in the dark waters off the coast of the Blue Flame Isles. Driven by a forgotten betrayal, he strikes without warning, seeming his enormous anger to save the wretched and drag the greedy to their doom. Oh wow, so I guess he's not so tiny. <laughs> he looked tiny, but I guess not. Oh, okay, the abyssal. Abyssal. Astronaut. Okay, <laughs> very clever there. Okay. Warden. World Breaker. Shanghai Scrolls, Bright Night, Ooh, Whispering Elves, oh, okay, and Cosmic Paladin. Mm, no, I'm sorry. No. no, not feeling it. Not feeling a connection. Yeah. Okay, here's the one I want to see for this part. Necro. Who is a chameleon. Like a chameleon. Human. Humanoid. Alright. Necro can be can blend into any crowd by borrowing the appearance of others, even absorbing something in their emotional state to tell friends to tell friend from foe with an instant. Oh wow. No one will ever sh no one will ever sure where or who Necro might be, but those who intend to do a her harm will soon witness her true colors revealed. Oh, what? Okay. Um. There. Okay. Alright. Yeah, they only cosplay this. Outfit of their character, not anything. Can I not look at any more? I don't know. Mm -mm. Okay, here's your Star Guardian. Shanghai Scrolls and Street Demons. Alright. Um, honestly, she might be just a maybe. No, not you. What are you thinking? A maybe. So be it. At most. Or at least, I don't know. I think. I think. Yeah. I don't want to go on for too long, but we'll see. Mid. Alright, next we got. Nidali. 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 Very Amazon forest lady kind of look for her. Alright, raised in the deepest jungle. Mm. No, I can't even say her name right now. It's like blinking out. 
Needly, Needly <laughs> is a master is a master tracker who can shape shift into furious courage at will. Neither woolly woman nor beast, she fiercely defends her territory from any and all trespassers with carefully placed traps and depths spears from throws. Oh she's not afraid to kill somebody. Okay. Alright. Not that one. This one. The French maid. Oh, okay. Okay. Sparrow. Sparrow. Headhunter. Warning Kingdom. Ooh, Super Galaxy. Dawn Brainer. And then the cos you got cosmic huntress. That is quite interesting. Ocean Song. Alright. Kit Kit Kitali. Kitali. <laughs> and then La Lusion. Alright, um, I'm gonna put her at probably B. Okay. Also, where did you come from? I think this show. Oh. I'm gonna look where that guy came from. If he's like down more. I already rank him. The one that I accidentally removed. Um, I I wasn't really planning to do like an end of the year stream. Because my year has been very crappy. <laughs> so at the beginning of the year, my life felt like it was like tearing apart. And when it did, it took over half of the year to pull myself together. And I mean, it's been up and downs, but... As of like as of uh, late lately, I mean it's all right, but. But I'm really hoping next year things will like turn out. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't think I would play like them. So, all right. Moving to who was it? You, Nalia. She got the ring, nose ring going on. Okay. Although I think they really improved their model within the whole. I don't know. When was this game released? <laughs> I can't remember. All right. Can I? There it is. Not Mila. 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 Okay. Mila is an authentic warrior from a distant land, seeking the world's deadliest, most titanic op 
opponent so that she might challenge and destroy them. Having won her power through the encounter of the long impris- imprisoned demon-, demon of joy. Oh, she, she, she's fearful, okay. She has no emotions other than unseasoned jubilation, a small price to pay for a vast strength she now possesses. Oh, she can't, like, feel emotions? Damn. That's bad. Okay, it looks like two skins already. That one and it's got it. Guardian. Yeah, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm not touching her. <laughs> She's too scary. <laughs> um, okay, nocturnal. Nocturne. Nocturne, not no. Not nocturnal, nocturne. Okay. A demonic um, domination drawn in the nightmares that haunt every sentiment, sentient nine, mind. I'm trying to read while my brain is like at zero. <laughs> every sent mine the thing known as nocturne has become a primordial force of pure evil it is liquidy chaos in aspect a faceless shadow with cold eyes and armed with wicked looking blades okay Frozen Terror, Ravager, oh, Enterium, Enterium, Undead, <laughs> Curse Revengeant. That kind of looks a little scary and creepy. Old God and the Broken Covenant. All right, okay, you you kind of creep me out. I'm not no. You creep me out. Ain't no way. New Noon and Willem. Oh. Okay. okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy who wanted to prove he was the hero by slaying a fearsome monster, only to discover that the beast, a lonely and magical yeti, merely needed a friend. Bounded together by ancient power and shared love of snowballs, New Noon and Will and Willum. Willum? Now ramble wildly across Red Lords, breathing life into imagined adventures. Okay, it's kind of a cute story there, but so the Yeti has like six legs going on or something. The Grungy. Okay. His bot skin. Noon Noon. Demolisher. Papercraft. <laughs> Space Groove. Oh, 
Kız kadın yuvam. Nooo. Oh. What is it? Cosmic Paladin? And then that's what it's about. Uh, maybe, maybe. One. I'm actually getting a little more changes for this. <laughs> it's cute. And um, not really feeling more than just that, so we're moving on. Holy crap, 2009? Alright, who is this? Olaf. Olaf Viking. The axe wielding Olaf wants nothing but to die in glorious combat. Alright, Viking it is. He once received a prophecy foretelling his peaceful passing of coward's fate oh. <laughs> in a great insult among his people. Seeking death, he fueled by rage and rampage across the land, slaughtering scores of great warriors and legendary beasts in search of any opponent who can stop him. It says like One Punch Man, but Viking and axes? <laughs> He's just going around trying to find the perfect opponent, yet they all fail. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, that's way too funny. That's way too. <gasps> Who, okay, who who was here? Someone, someone got a little frisky. <laughs> ten, ten to kill. Someone got a little frisky there. Marauder, marauder, marauder. I guess the butcher. I think I've seen this art of him before where he's just screaming. <laughs> he was so angry. At some, like, what, meat or something? Yeah. <laughs> he's screaming at the food. Dragon Slayer. Stentiel. That looks pretty cool, though. And then the Lost Chapter. Oh, he's got the purple hair. Oh, um, maybe one. He does seem like a funny character, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay, a couple more, and then we're going to be done with this. Oriana. Very robot. Once a curious girl of flesh and blood, Oriana is now a techni technological marvel compromised entity of clockwork. She became gra gravely ill after an accident in the lower district of Zong. And her failing body had to be replaced with ex sit exquisite artifice, 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 piece by piece. Oh, so that's how she became what she is now. That's kind of sad, but but now she can freely explore wherever. Gothic. Okay, I don't really like the whole hair thing going on there, but. Eh. So in chaos. Eh, okay, that's kind of creepy me. I don't know. Okay, Blade. Craft. No, 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 no. Okay, 
them. Not the eyes. Not the eyes. Dark star. Honestly, I can't tell if this is really her or not. It's like some kind of other character. The pool party. Alright. Or Biana. But this would be B fun. And then the Star Guardian. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna put you in no because they some you do kinda creep me out in some of those skins. I guess gotta tell you that. I'm sorry. And then last but not least for this session, Orin. Okay, Orin is a spirit of forging and craftsmanship. He works in solitude in a massive smithy, hammered out from lava ca caverns beneath the volcano hearthworm, hearth home. There he scrubs bubbling cauldrons and molten rock to purify ores and fashion items to unsurpassed quality. So he's his old blacksmith. The spirit blacksmith. Easy. Thunderlord. Okay. Elderwood. And the space crew. Uh, I mean, he's just a spirit. That's it. Alright. So that is all we're going to do for today. Next week, which will be the next year, we are going to probably almost be done with this. Maybe like two more, two more videos, two more streams of this and then we're done. I know I started late, so I was like trying to eat and whatever else, but yeah. So next time we're going to start with Pantheon. So here is the list right now. As you can see, we did add the characters to the S rank, not so much the A. We're gonna win the Bs, Cs, and well, okay. So here is the final list for just this stream. All right, um. And that will be all it for this today's stream. Should I raid somebody or not? Good question. Let me see who's on. No. Uh, 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 uh. Sure, why not? We're gonna go and raid my good friend, uh, Rai. Rai Rai. Or Ray Ray. He's playing Minecraft. Alright. Thank you all for coming. And I will see you on Saturday. Where we get to discover. Genshin. <laughs> okay. I'll see you then. Bye bye.